we're going to be talking about verses. And this has really kept me super excited throughout COVID, right? How they've really taken a uh, an idea and really made it into a brand. But before I get all into it, because I could do a whole lecture on it, let's show the clip. Myself and Timberland have been working on this idea called Versus for about three years now. Then this trying time came and everybody started going to social media to express themselves. So what we did was I played my top songs, he played his top songs, and we went on Instagram Live. <laughs> you having fun? This is so good for the culture. Let's go. A lot of people like to say battle. We pulled back off of that word battle because we're battling enough in the world today. We call it an educational celebration. <sighs> so let me let me get in my bag on this one. Let me get in my bag. So check this out. First part, timing. My man said, we've been thinking about this for three years. Okay. Now, him and Timberland, by far, are top tier, top five hip hop artists ever. Okay. I'll say ever. And for them to have an idea, they could have executed it at any moment, right? Uh, Swiss Beats, f a few, not few, a quite a bit ago of a summer jam, did a battle with Kanye West. And it could have been right then and there, the start of verses, right? Um, but they saw an opportunity through COVID where everybody was all confused, didn't know what to do, stuck at home, only had their phones or their laptops or whatever, and was 24 seven on social media. They said, you know what? This is the time. This is when people need it. People would have maybe appreciated it before just for bragging rights or whatever, but the culture, the, the world needs versus now. Right. So they took an idea, found the proper time and and launched it during a time where everybody was on their phone, where everybody needed a piece of relief and getting their minds off of reality of everything that was happening through COVID, even everything that was happening through uh, the Black Lives Matter movement. Right. And. How they took an idea to a whole established trademark multi, oh, I wouldn't say multi-million, but definitely a bag of, of, of a brand is incredible. And how even the sense of, let me put it on a free platform because it's an idea, right? Because it's an idea. Let me take it from a free platform to then let the artist have control of it. Cause Moose, I don't know if you remember when they had it with uh, Neo and of course the, the famous uh, baby face and Teddy Riley uh, battle that was all with, uh, with the artist controlling the live. So it wasn't even on the versus Instagram or platform per se. It was on the artist. You had to go and follow them and everything. Right. And they saw that, saw the ups and downs with that, like any other business, any other brand, they saw the ups and downs and they took full control. They put it on their platform. They made people go and that was based off the Beanie Man and uh, Beanie Man battle where it was in Jamaica and they were all in one location, right? They partnered up with Apple so that when there is a battle, People from Apple are now on on ground and setting up everything instead of allowing the artists to do it. Right. They partnered with Instagram to make sure that there's longer lives instead of it getting interrupted. Right. They uh, got sponsors like Ciroc and whatever 
whoever else wanted to sponsor it, Wingstop with Rick Ross and things like that, and was very strategic with the partnerships, as well as still keeping it free for the culture. And not only did it help the culture, but it helped the artists who were involved. They called it like the versus effect, where not only do your following go up, not only uh, do you get the exposure that you need to different generations, but your streams went up. Patti LaBelle and uh, Gladys Knight, people who were not streaming, who didn't come up in the streaming age or era, now was streaming to the max. They were on the charts. They've ne they haven't been on the charts ever in the streaming in the streaming era, right? Erica Badu and Jill Scott were in like twenty different charts. They took an idea to something that was for the people and the artists. And the great thing, that's why I was talking about Swiss before, when it comes to the producer, there was one interview where he was like, what we created with Rough Riders was great, but I felt like I, I needed to do more with just the label of producing and I needed to give back to the people. So Versus allowed him to be to give back to the people and produce something for the culture, right? Now, like I said, we'll get into the, the art and everything as well, but from a music standpoint, from a place where people really needed that relief and not only the people needed the relief, but the artists needed the relief because once you bring up the streams, you bringing up people's money, you bringing up people's bags. So it is... What he did, what him and Tim did with Versus is unbelievable, unbelievable. But Moose, I would love to hear, because you know I've watched all the Versus. Well, maybe yeah. not all. I think I didn't watch two of them. But out of all, all of them, I didn't watch two. But what do you think about Versus? Phenomenal idea. You know, I, I, I'm not going to lie, I didn't watch all of them, but... While I'm going through this concept, I'm thinking about the message and the meaning behind everything that he created, mm -hmm. right? Something by the people, for the people. So much so, it's so unique in its essence that it, it makes the platform have to reconsider where they're investing their resources mm -hmm. or how they're making things available. Like you touched on it, for Instagram to remove their 60-minute live limit like, think about that. You, you have a, a billion dollar or multi-billion dollar platform restructuring its platform for you. And the crazy thing before that, we had DJ D Nice who was going live Absolutely. all the time and they didn't Absolutely. do that for him. And they that brought beyond traffic to Instagram to see what DJ is going live for 12 hours. And he would yeah. continuously start. It wasn't until versus till they're like, oh, there's two key players on our platform that is bringing in super traffic. Let's take this, this joker off. I think that's huge. Major, major, major. That, like I'm saying, for, for, for the platform to level up because of what you're doing, you know, one of the things I was thinking about too, it's the importance for us on this journey of building businesses and brands mm -hmm. to not fake our numbers. Right. I think it's so critical because... We were mentioning uh, Fadia, the lady from Instagram herself, yep. where she said it caught our attention because outside of the fact that I'm personally a fan of the music and what they were doing, on the back end, we also saw the numbers. Yeah. So they saw the numbers and it was like, oh, yep, this is something worth looking into. Right. And they put their chips behind it. So I, I think it's, it's revolutionary in so many ways. And, and I love that. They didn't sell out. Mm -hmm. That's something we got to talk about. Like, there's a lot of movements that start with a lot of the right slogans. Oh, this is for the culture. This is yeah. for the people. But as soon as corporations come with the big check, they're like, oh, <laughs> uh, culture, we'll be right back. Uh, right. Let me go to the bank real quick. So the fact that they stay true the entire time is so real, man. So, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's beyond... 
uh, artistry or just really good deeds that they're doing, they're really revolutionizing what's possible regardless of how something is already established. Like we can literally still come out here with the right resources and relationships in place mm -hmm. and reignite something that has not been thought of before. And, and the pivots that they've done through each stage of, uh, of verses is crazy. Like it started with their phone and their laptops, right? And random internet service. Right. Yeah. To then let's do the eye rig. So then you heard the music clearer through the phone based off their system. Right. To then partnering with Apple to then have two different experiences. You could watch it on Instagram. Right. Through clear audio and everything like that. But you could have a way better HD experience and have it on your smart uh, TV and your your laptop and your phone and have it all there. High definition through Apple. Like each, they were very intentional with each of the steps. You saw the growth of what came from an idea to a whole brand, yeah. worldwide yeah. brand. People are, and from recent interviews, they're like, yo, we haven't even touched the surface. We haven't touched Latin. We haven't touched yeah. the Hispanic community. We haven't touched the world community yet. You know, we haven't touched African community. Like, there's so many different ways they could go about it. And I do love the fact that they were like, yo, it's a celebration, right? Though we hear verses more instantly like, yo, battle, right? And we can't help it. That makes it very entertaining. But down the line, when they were going through uh, the later rounds, like Brandy and Monica, uh, clearly Patti LaBelle, Gladys Knight, like that's not a battle. That's like, yo, let's really celebrate that these living legends are here in this era. Like they're, we never see them anymore, right? Um, who was it? It was like Jada Kiss and Fab. That was a great battle, right? Shout out to New York. Um, but to, to really show even... It, it inspired me because you could use this very practical, like don't look at it from just a musical standpoint, right? I literally have created the replay squad based off the verses, uh, the verses effect where you have the live on your Instagram, but then you're recording on an HD and you're, and you're uh, giving a certain community the HD experience with the audio correct and everything like that. So I, I really want to make sure that people see like the growth of these different brands and these different businesses. There's stuff that we could apply for ourselves if we just start thinking as a producer, as what can we take from these lessons and put it into our own brands? Because the second I really started studying verses, like I used to go live Every, after every verses, do a recap, but from a branding standpoint, like, who, OK, what yeah. did we learn? What did we what did we learn? You saw when Rick Ross was there. Bel Air was there. Yep. Wingstop yep. was there. Right. He was always promoting his brands. Right. Ciroc is always there. There, There's they're starting to get clear. Um. They starting to understand the virtual experience a little bit better. So that take what these people are doing and how can it apply to what you are doing, I think would be a super game changer for, and it doesn't matter what brand you have. It doesn't matter what you do. I don't care if you're a speaker. I don't care if you're an author. I don't care if you're a shoe lace person, whatever. I don't care. You can learn something from this, it, the virtual experience based off what we're doing now. We're, we're hearing that we're going to be locked in again for what, six weeks? Possibly. Yeah. 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 Nick it's, it's here to stay. You know, it's here to stay. I think just this, this, like people are so used to this now. And I'm not saying that this is going to be the reality forever. But, you know, I, I think for people like Swiss and Timberland who jumped right into it, Mm -hmm. And and the part that I don't want going over people's head is if you're watching this clip, and again, shout out to everybody who's actually listening to the episode on YouTube, you notice that there's a piece of it where, like you said, in the car, 
right? Like I remember mm-hmm. actually tuning into that specific live. Yeah. Like Swiss Beats was in his car. Yeah. <laughs> right. And like on live and 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 going back and forth and really just having a great time with it. And and we often talk about let your audience tell you if they like it or not. Mm. You know, they had twenty thousand people on those lives, uh, and it was a very just kind of like simple setup. You know, like you said, phones, laptops, whatever, making it work. And and it it proved the concept. So yeah, it, it's uh, it's incredible on so many levels. 